What's up, my YouTube people? Back at it again. Uh, actually, been back here trying to get a little organized. Had a disaster back here. But pretty much, man, back in the lab with the box. Uh, man, a whole bunch of things. After we broke down uh, that, I realized there's a whole bunch of mechanical things I need to worry about before even worrying about shows. I really wanted to take it to the interior shop, but actually that's going to be put on pause because we got major issues under the hood. Not that it's not running right. I can get it, I put a new carburetor on it and I can get it tuned right, but man, it's got leaks everywhere. Makes no sense for me to be looking clean, having leaks everywhere. So, believe it or not, we're gonna pull the engine out. That's probably ass backwards. We probably should have did that before the paint job. It is what it is. Uh, I'm actually gonna have my girl help me pull it out. I'm gonna teach her little things. Hopefully, hopefully we don't mess nothing up. But uh, she's gonna help me pull out the motor and uh, we're just gonna regasket it, paint it nice, throw it back in. There's, man, there's an abundance of the events and shows and stuff, but I realized if it ain't right, I need to quit pulling it out. So, I'm going to get organized and write down everything we need to do for that Texas Whip Fest. It's June 26th or something, I believe, so we got like a month and two weeks. I need to, man, let me show y'all everything I need. First, of course, we're going to pull the motor out, gasket it, put it back in. Then, we got the new bumper filling. Gotta change that, get it painted. Still gotta put all this trim on, gotta finish polishing. Uh, still not done with the hydraulic setup. I got some of the clips in that we needed. All the interior pieces I still need to put back in there. Uh, man, also, it does have a bridge. We need to put the chains on there so I could be able to three wheel. Woo, a whole bunch of little things. So, man, it actually does help to write it down. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Man, a whole bunch of things I got to do in a, uh, in a month and two weeks, probably. Uh, probably can get it done. I mean, I do got my job. I do be tired sometimes, but let's see if we get it all done for that, uh, for that show in Dallas. Pretty much that exhaust is trash. <laughs> well, 
Actually, I don't even know where I'm at in the filming, honestly. Uh, but this continuation of whatever video we're on. Uh, we're still in the process of trying to take this motor out of this car. You know what, as a matter of fact, I haven't even been able to keep up with this. The last time we were here was the 15th of Saturday, which today is what day? The 23rd. Oh my God. Look, we were at, I really haven't done nothing all these days. Oh my God. So today is the 23rd. And our deadline was the 26th of next month. It still is, but now we even got another deadline. June 6th. Not fully finished, but I need to be able to drive, run and drive with this car because we are actually filming a video shoot slash photo shoot for Box Travaganza. And how can I be part of that show and not pull up in the box? Oh um, yeah, my plans are not to be fully done June 6th, but fully running and driving at least. Detail work before the 26th, but I haven't even crossed anything off this list and there's even more to add. Woo! We need to get, get going. Honestly, the weather hasn't been good. I've been busy at the shop, but it's making a break of time. Like I said, we're, it's the 23rd. Basically, we got two weeks for June, tw June 6th and then another two weeks for Texas Whip Fest. Woo! I don't know what I got myself into. But anyways, uh, I gotta take this motor out today. I've been saying that for like three weeks. I haven't done it. But we'll hit y'all back when uh, we're a little bit closer to pulling this thing out. Woo, the hell kicking my ass early Sunday morning. But we have to take the bumper off, as y'all can see. Uh, give me a little bit more clearance. We're gonna have to take it off anyways to change this bumper feeling. So it's okay. Uh, see where I'm gonna put this chain on. Everything's pretty much loose. So here in about a few minutes, we are gonna snatch this thing out of here. So really what holds, I mean there's a lot of other things, but you see those things right there, the motor mount, that one bolt sticking out? Yeah. That's all that holds it, one on this side, one on that side. And really that's one of the reasons why I wanted to uh, change it because that one's collapsed. There, it's a rubber, so when the motor turns that way the car's not shaking. But the one on that side, it's collapsed. You see how this one's kind of like separate from the frame? Yeah. And then look on the other side. There should be a rubber between there. Oh, okay. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to change it. So the bolt slid right out. Just a motor mount bolt. Put this with a transmission bolt back. Ship free. Just go up with it. It's all right. The Not the girl. It's all right. I'm just telling you. All right. So we're completely loose. It should be. The only thing I didn't come disconnect was the uh, starter wires. I couldn't get to them, but let's lift up. Go. I'm on the grill. There we go, we got the motor in the air. It's completely loose, check it out. Whew. Now I'm just worried if that's gonna go up high enough uh, to clear that. We do got the car on jack stands, but I'm also using the, my jack to hold up the transmission. I don't know, we'll see right now, let's see. I'm gonna keep pumping it up. Check the other side, babe, see if it's looking all right. 
about to hit anything. Am I good on that side? Yeah. Yeah, nasty these, babe. All mm -hmm. greasy. I really should have did this before paint. Took them over out. Oof, look how filthy it is. Oh, this is disgusting. Mm -mm. Now come to come to show them the bay real quick. Oh, look, the motor mouths weren't even in there. Like they're just completely gone, completely gone. But oof. Give me a few seconds to breathe, and I'm gonna hit y'all right back. There we go, fellas motors out really the plan wasn't even to take this motor out but i made no sense me pulling up looking clean leaking oil everywhere and as y'all can see it's got leaks all over now the motor is still pretty strong don't get me wrong but it is just a 305 and we got to do all this cleaning i don't know man this engine bay is trash too so i'm kind of glad we took it out now i can clean the engine bay and for sure fellas don't do this after paint really I should have did this is probably the first thing I should have did before even thinking about paint hey sometimes you do stuff ass backwards it is what it is huh so now I'm gonna end this video next video we're gonna start cleaning this up clean the engine bay off regasket this ah Lee it's probably gonna take us a couple days just cleaning this and it is what's today's day the 23rd we do need to have this car running by the 6th. I mean, I could do it if I didn't have a job. <laughs> uh, well, we do have a perfectly clean motor over there. Hmm.